Have you ever wondered why the San Andreas Fault is considered one of the most significant geological features on our planet? Nestled within the heart of California, it's a marvel that continues to captivate scientists, geologists, and enthusiasts alike. But what makes it so special? Today we delve into the fascinating world of the San Andreas Fault. The San Andreas Fault is a continental right lateral strike-slip transform fault stretching approximately 1,200 kilometers through California. It's a boundary that separates two colossal tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. This fault is divided into three main segments, northern, central, and southern, each with its unique characteristics. The fault has an average slip rate of 20 to 35 millimeters per year. That's right, the ground beneath us is always moving, albeit at a pace slower than a snail's crawl. In the northern segment, the fault terminates offshore near Eureka, at what's known as the Mendocino Triple Junction, where it intersects with another geological wonder, the Cascadia Subduction Zone. On the opposite end, in the southern segment, it ends near Bombay Beach in the Salton Sea, where the plate motion shifts from right lateral to divergent. The fault was first identified in the year 1895 by Professor Andrew Lawson and was named after the San Andreas Valley, not the San Andreas Lake, as some might assume. The central segment of this fault experiences a phenomenon known as aseismic creep, while the southern segment holds the potential for an 8.1 magnitude earthquake. Quite a shake, isn't it? The San Andreas Fault exists due to the northwest movement of the Pacific Plate and the southwest movement of the North American plate. This motion creates compressional forces along the fault, resulting in the formation of the coast ranges and the transverse ranges. The remaining motion is found in the Walker Lane, or the Eastern California Shear Zone. In the grand scheme of geological time spanning millions of years, the landmass west of the fault will slide past San Francisco and continue northwestward towards the Aleutian Trench. This is the formation of the San Andreas Fault that began approximately 30 million years ago. So, to summarize, the San Andreas Fault is a continental transform fault extending through California. It separates the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, moving at an average rate of 20 to 35 millimeters per year. First identified in the late 19th century, the fault experiences aseismic creep in the central segment and has the potential for significant earthquakes in the southern segment. The fault exists due to the movement of the two plates, and over millions of years, the land mass west of the fault will continue to move northwestward. The San Andreas Fault, a marvel of geology, continues to shift and shape our Earth in ways that often go unnoticed in our day-to-day -day lives. But its significance and potential for impact are anything but small. It's a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet.